Okay, so um, when you're trying to define the culture or when you're talking to uh, the leaders of an organization, I, I try to get the focus on, you know, what, what really helps to define that culture in, in your organization. There's the people, these are all the stakeholders, it's the workforce, it's the customers, it may be the regulators, there's the processes on how you uh, maintain your assets, the processes on how you do capital delivery, uh, the processes on how you do your planning, uh, the technology, which may be your, you know, your asset management systems, your ERP systems. And of course, if we're talking about asset intensive businesses, organizations, the physical assets themselves. Across those four pillars, you look at the business architecture. How does that organization make decisions? How do they decide where to spend you know, their next $10 million on, on training, on new assets, on new systems? Um, do, do people get to make decisions out in the field to defer maintenance or uh, do they have to follow you know, the exact processes, the standard operating procedures? And then you look at the technology architecture. How do our systems support us? Are, are our systems actually helping our workforce uh, be more productive, get more work done on time, or they a drag where they're slowing us down. People are having to enter information in multiple systems and go back and forth. And then the information architecture is how do, how do we share information across the enterprise? How do we share it between different systems, between different departments, uh, sometimes between different agencies? So if you look at the business architecture, the technology architecture, and the information architecture across these columns, that kind of gives you an idea of the enterprise architecture. But when talking to a leader in a public infrastructure organization, just try to focus on this picture because it presents a way for them to see how these four columns and these, these uh, architectures really create what is the culture of the organization. If you want to break that down into the addressable elements of that organization, you can look at it this way. You know, if you're talking about the intersection of people and business architecture, that might be talking about the culture itself or the roles and responsibilities. Uh, or if you're talking about people in technology architecture, how do my people out in the field get the, or my people in the back offices, anybody in the organization, get the data that they need to make the right decisions? And people in information architecture, that intersection is really about like, where, where do I get analytics not just analytics for analytics purpose, but analytics that I can action, that I can make good decisions on uh, to improve the business. You talk about processes and you know, here you got standard operating uh, procedures. If you're talking about information, you're talking about data modeling down here, or if you're talking about information and technology, it might be about data governance. The idea here is that when you're building an asset management program, you, you sort of have to build those, those bricks, foundation brick by brick. You can't just build it all on technology and then expect the people uh, to be caught up with that. You know, it'll start to tip over. You need to build a, a foundation where it's coming up almost at the same time. Uh, you're building those competencies throughout the organization. And that's usually where we bring that uh, conversation to the C-suite.